Hi friends, my name is Dana. In case you are new, I'm hoping a lot of you come to my channel looking for graduation ideas. And no, I don't have a graduating senior. So why am I doing this? So I was asked by someone at church to put together eight gift baskets for all of our graduating seniors this year because she knows I'm kind of creative and I have a little extra time. So I was kind of put in charge of that and I'm totally okay with it because I also need to get a gift basket for my daughter's boyfriend who is graduating from high school. My daughter is a junior. So this is giving me ideas for next year. We're going to go into the dollar store right now and I'm going to get as many things as I can and then I might hit a few other stores to get kind of specific things that are a little bit more money but more specific to each kid maybe. I kind of know most of them and so I kind of want to tailor it a little bit to each person. I've got five girls and four boys to buy for. Let's go see what we can do in the dollar store. Also, this isn't my budget. The church is paying for it. So it's almost more fun to spend someone else's money. So let's go see what we can come up with. We got a lot of stuff, don't we, Ashley? Okay, I'm gonna take out what we have so far, but we are gonna go get some more things. We'll start with this guy right here. We got all of the jars, and I showed you all no of the different good. kinds. The sky's the limit. Congrats, grad. The tassel was worth the hassle. And my favorite one, the college fund. And I think what I'm going to do, because these are little piggy banks, I think I'm gonna go and get a roll of pennies. <laughs> Put a penny roll in each one of them, it'll be a dollar, and it'll be a good start to their college fund. All right, these are the packing supplies that I have found so far. I still need to find the big cellophane bags that go over everything, and then I need to find some black actual graduation decor to add to it, but they didn't have as much as I wanted at this store. But I, their colors for the high school are purple and gold and black, so it kind of goes great with um, like graduation theme anyway, and so, I've got these baskets that will fit all of the stuff and then we'll wrap the cellophane around it, put the, this little confetti into the bottom of the basket. So that's all set and done. So on each of the items that I kind of have a little thought to add to it, I'm gonna attach a little card to it. And this one will be like freshen up after graduation and get ready to relax and unwind. So I've got little face masks for everyone. Kaylee, my oldest, has advised me that even the boys love getting face masks. They actually do it. They have their friends over and all of them put the face masks on and, and have a little spa treatment. So I thought the boys shouldn't be left out of that moment. And then I got some extra gum and I'm gonna say something like, way to go with the extra mile and graduating from high school. And then I found these candles and I know there's not much candle in them, but I just think they're so fun and they have a cute little saying already on them. This one says, show your true colors. These ones are for the boys. Let's taco about it. I thought they're so cute. Look at the little tacos. And then this one is different is cool. And I just thought it was just kind of fun. I know my kids just like little trinkety things like this. And it's just kind of a fun little thing. Okay, and the last thing that I found so far are these little bags of dried fruit. And yeah, you're not getting much dried fruit in there, but I liked the be fruitful. And I'm gonna say on the tag, go and be fruitful in the world. You've graduated from high school. I just thought that was kind of a fun play on words. And it's kind of a healthy snack because then I'm gonna buy a lot of candy. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go to Walmart in the next couple days and kind of add bigger bags of candy and I can kind of sprinkle them in. I think it's a cheaper way to do it. And then I'm gonna find Maybe some bigger items like a water bottle or just something else to kind of put into each basket that's a little bit more than like a dollar, you know? I have the budget for it, so I'm gonna go see what I can find at, the, at Walmart, so stay tuned. Okay, now I'm at Walmart. I have my daughter here because we just went to an appointment. Hopefully if you're a regular viewer, you've already seen that video. Um, but we're doing some good things here at Walmart. I'm finding some good ideas. We're gonna get Pringles for each one of them and these cool color changing tumblers you guys let me show you the display they're really really cool all right back at home i'm going to show you 
everything we've gotten so far for the gift baskets. I think I'm almost done. I'm gonna tally up with my receipts if we are still within budget. If I'm in budget still, then I'm gonna go and get gift cards for Cafe Rio. And I think the teenagers are going to love it. I think the boys will love it. I think they'll go on Taco Tuesday and get as many tacos as they can. And I think the girls will like it because they love salads and that's more healthy. So I think it'll kind of, it'll hit everyone and then they'll all enjoy that. And I think I still will be within budget. Do you want to see everything that we're going to do? And then I think I'm going to be able to start putting the gift baskets together. I might have gotten too much stuff to fit into my basket. Let's see. So at the dollar store, I picked up these graduation cards. My friend yesterday that put me in charge of this, she's like, you know what? Just go ahead and get everyone a card and maybe we can pass these out to the adults and they can all sign it. But I just wanted ones that were going to be really fun and like shiny like being in the basket. And I think I might even not even do the card with it because as you can see, the cards themselves are really fun. I think it's just more like a display within the gift basket. And so I think I'm just gonna leave them out. Then I've got some of them that look like that, more that way. And then I have a fun 2022 one like that. They didn't have enough of each one of them to get like one solid kind. Like I really wanted, where was it? This one. I really wanted all of them to be this one, to like stand up within the basket and it's really, really cute. Literally, they only had one. So then the other things I got at the dollar store were these basket bags and they work so well to gift wrap and like, it's like the cellophane wrap, right? You bring it up and outside the basket and then tie it with a little raffia or something. There's two bags in each of these and they work really, really well. Then I also got the treat bags because I'm gonna take all of these little, even though they're individually wrapped, I'm gonna put them into a treat bag because I think it'll sit inside the basket a little bit better and it'll look a little bit better. So at Walmart, we got these snacks and I picked these ones because they have the black, white, and gold to kind of go with the graduation idea. Same with the gold on the Rolo. And you can't go wrong with chocolate, peanut butter, and cal caramel for teenagers. Like there's, that's not a bad combo. Then I got Pringles. <laughs> Every teenager I know loves Pringles. And again, it's a fun height. It'll add some drama to the gift basket, but kind of skinny and I think it'll fit in there. And last up, I've got these tumblers, the same color changing ones. I got the same one that we got. So I showed you these in the store. I got this set right here. That's just like just plain colors. And then this one here is camo. So I thought this one, these ones would be good for the boys. There's three of them here that could be for the boys. And when they change color, the camo comes out like even clearer. So I just thought that would be a fun addition. So I think overall, that's a pretty good haul to get in a graduation gift basket. So anyway, let's put it all together. Of all the magic places